Hello, one, and welcome to Center Grove Bantam Football League Championship Saturday here at Ray Skillman Stadium at Center Grove High School. Kevin Conrad, along with Rick Embry, this is the major division championship game between the top seeded LSU Tigers at 12 0 against the number two seeded UCLA Bruins at 11 1. And Rick, you don't see, I don't think we've had this today where you got one versus two. Yeah, that's. Uh... That's unusual, but these two teams have clearly been the best two teams in the major division. LSU comes in 12 and 0. Kevin outscored their opponents 442 to 59, and on the other side, this UCLA team's only given up 38 points for the entire season. So we got a doozy here tonight. LSU here on the home side with the purple jerseys, gold pants, looking really sharp. UCLA also very sharp with the light blue jerseys with the gold pants as well the light gold this is our third and final championship game here in the uh, Centigro Band of Football League for 2023 first game today the rookie competition we had uh, Ohio State Went winning 6-0 stopped uh, uh, stopped Georgia on the one yard line Kevin the last play of the game that was an absolute fantastic game that rookie game in the minor division, Oregon winning big over UCLA, 32-14. And now we're ready for the major championship. It's going to be UCLA football first. Head coach, Ed Brickley, he's been doing this a long time and got word this morning this will be his last go around as, <coughs> as a coach here in the in the Bantam League. I think uh, 15 years. Coach Timmons said 15 years in the league. Helps out with the junior varsity football program and UCLA will <coughs> hand it off on the jet sweep good open field tackle by LSU on the edge number eight looked like that was Connor Phoenix coming up to make the stop and the tackle and that looked like number 15 uh, Chanza Thong the main running backs for UCLA but yeah this LSU Tigers defense they've had seven shutouts on defense and averaging 36 points a game uh, on offense, Kevin. So they've been an absolute uh, role so far. But the one game that these two teams have played, Kevin, 18 to 13, uh, game in favor of UCLA. So it was by far the closest game either one of these teams have had all year. Oh, good run here. Nifty moves. He might go. High stand, trying to break. Oh, oh wow. Trying to break the big one. He's taken down at the five. 11 was able to catch up to him. That's Luke Paxson. Didn't give up on the play. No, he didn't, Kevin. And that, uh, he saved a touchdown because Highstand was was almost in the end zone. Broke through and UCLA close to striking first, Kevin. And that would be a big, a big thing for that UCLA team to give them confidence. Coach Brickley's assistants, Antonio Roberts, Eddie Brickley, Patrick Brickley, head coach for LSU, J.B. Paxson, his assistant, Jeff Paxson, Doug Raker, and Tommy Frazier. At the six-yard line, first and goal for the Bruins. Uh-oh. Well, if he gets around the edge, he's going to score. Touchdown. And that's the quarterback, Owen Weiss. Owen Weiss scoots in from six yards out. Bruins strike first. Really good blocking on the perimeter for Weiss. Yeah, I didn't know if he was going to be able to get outside, but he does. So UCLA strikes first. They'll go for one from the three. Throws a dart, gets the one-point conversion. Yeah, and the PA guy is saying Weiss, so we'll go with Weiss if he's done these games. But that was a good pass from Weiss after he runs that one in. The lefty throws it in, and that'll be a one-point conversion for UCLA. Don't know who Weiss threw that to, Kevin. Did you catch a number on that? 
I did tell on those. Again, once again, the UCLA numbers <laughs> from our vantage point, difficult to read from here. Now the LSU numbers, yeah. they look That's really good. Almost the first numbers that we've seen all I mean the the UCLA unis are pretty. I'll give them that. Sure. They're nice uh kind of gold and, and baby blue, but yeah, those numbers very difficult to, to see. LSU first opportunity on offense. Number 11 takes the handoff. That's Luke Paxson. Yeah, you're going to see Paxson early and often for this LSU team. Luke is uh, leads the team with 29 touchdowns on the year, so he's he's been a handful. And this is the first game that, that you've seen out of the three, Kevin, where there's no coaches on the field, so they get the plays in from the sidelines. You send him in with somebody, you signal him in from the sidelines. Luke Paxson again. James Roller's the quarterback for LSU, number one. Good yardage for Paxson. Close to a first down. Looks like you're going to be about a couple of yards shy. So we do have some player profiles. At the moment, we do not have player profiles from the UCLA team, but we have them for the LSU team. So we apologize. Uh, when we read off the player profiles, we'll just read what we have, and we do not have anything for UCLA, but uh, we do have LSU. Third and short for the Tigers. Man in deep motion takes the handoff. That's oh, number eight, right Connor at. Phoenix. I think it's enough for a first down. No, I think he I think he's down. at the 45. They're going to say first down. Yeah. Nose of the ball got to the 35 or 45, so first down LSU. Just got enough. I had that as, uh, again, Connor Phoenix, number eight. Phoenix in motion. This time they hand it off to Paxson. Cross midfield. Five, five and a half yards for Paxson. Yeah, you're going to take that all day. High stand with the tackle. Kind of counter play there from LSU and Coach Paxson. JB, a former Center Grove great in multiple sports. Big hole there. Connor Phoenix gets the first down. Picks up the first down. Number eight, he's on the tackle. Second on their team with 16 touchdowns coming in. Kevin, two good runs there. LSU, ball control drive so far. Roller, the quarterback, James Roller for LSU. Paxson on the double dive. Paxson taken down at the 40. I like four what yards. Look, yeah, I like what Coach Paxson does with the – he puts that running back in motion. He's always doing something. He's either going to get the ball or right there. He was one of the lead blockers in the hole. But another good gain on first down. Now the quarterback Roller comes over to get the play call. Lucas Berger on with the tackle for UCLA. Roller's a very good basketball and baseball player. It's the first year he's played football. Very good athlete for this LSU Tigers team. First quarter going by really quickly. Quarterback keeps it. James Roller. Uh, he's able to turn the corner. Positive yards. Positive yards. Got inside the 30 to the 29. And a first down. I mean, that didn't look like to me. I was afraid he was going to go out of bounds there, but he was able to get outside and then just tiptoed along that sideline and another first down for LSU.
Good drive here by LSU. Trying to respond after touchdown by UCLA in the opening drive. Big hole in that Paxson, left side. Paxson, 20, 15, 10, 5. Stays on his feet into the end zone. Touchdown. 29 yards, Kevin. Well done by Paxson. Yeah, Luke Paxson. Big hole there. Good blocking on the left side of his offensive line. And, you know, a game like this, two evenly matched teams, Kevin, it's going to come down to, could come down to who gets the extra points and who doesn't. UCLA got the one-pointer, and now LSU's going for two. Trying to take the lead. LSU breaks huddle. A minute 40 on the clock. We're in the opening quarter. Roller under center, long signal count, puts his man in motion, the toss. Number eight takes the toss, Connor Phoenix does not make it. He's right at the, right at it, but uh, good job by that UCL defense standing up and keeping Easton out of the, out of the end zone. So UCLA gets their extra point, LSU's not able to. So some profiles here for LSU. Again, we did not receive any for UCLA, so we apologize for that. LSU, we have Grayson Harris, number 93, attends Maple Grove. Mrs. Shark, Stark, I should say, favorite teacher, likes making tackles. Favorite Trojan, Taven Jackson. Favorite NFL player, Josh Allen, and big highlight, making it to the Super Bowl. Says Coach Paxson is my favorite football coach. He just earned himself maybe some more playing time. <laughs> All right, UCLA back on offense. Big hole now for UCLA on first down. 15 on the carry. Brought down hard by number 11, Luke 15. What the carry. John's a thong. Savvy running back. Finds the slightest crease for steady gains. That's what he did here. Yeah, he got eight yards before Paxson came up and made the tackle. But UCLA perfectly fine was just continuing to grind out drives. Quarterback is Owen Weiss again under center for UCLA. Man in deep motion, he takes the toss. We do have a penalty yeah, flag. Yeah, he was moving a little bit, so that's gonna back them up five yards. Did you have two guys moving? Oh, they didn't have enough guys on the line of scrimmage after he went in motion, I'm gonna guess. Or there might have been two guys moving. Either way, yeah, legal shift. That's two guys moving. Legal shift on the offense. So second and seven now for UCLA. So Owen Weiss, the quarterback for UCLA. John Zathong, halfback, fullback Zach Highstand, wingback Jordan Kiesling, Parker Batch, shoulder the split in Lucas. Bergeon, on the tight end. Might be the last play if it's a running play of the first quarter. Second and seven. Down to 20 seconds. Right back to 15. 15 on the nope, that's going to be a high stand. Excuse me. Eight, number eight. Sherlock sure like 15. I think that was Thong. I thought so too. Yeah, that was Thong. I was right. You were. Chanza Thong with the carry. And that does bring us to the end of the first quarter. 7 6. We got a good one. LSU leads UCLA in this major division championship game. Back to our player profiles with LSU. S.J. Raker. Plays for the Tigers. Let's see if we can get a number for Raker. Didn't put it on a sheet. Number 91. There we go. Goes to. I don't know. It's a Knights Bridge Academy. Mrs. Marsh, favorite teacher. Best part about football for SJ, being with his friends and winning. Favorite Trojan of all time, Doug Raker, linebacker, year 1991. 
likes Michael Pittman Jr. Big highlight playing in the Super Bowl. He says, I'd like to thank all my coaches for all their hard work this season. Also for UCLA, we have Garrett the the first Beatty, number 75, goes to Pleasant Grove. Bruins lead seven to six. Likes to play defense, favorite Trojan, Taven Jackson. Likes Derrick Henry. And a big highlight playing linebacker and hitting the quarterback while he tried to throw a pass. It was incomplete, and we won the game. He says, I want to go to Notre Dame and play football there. Oh, I'm sorry for that kid. <laughs> Come on now. Not a big Notre Dame fan. <laughs> I can tell. But, obviously, great football program. All right, we're ready for the, what, second quarter, third and short here for UCLA. Third and a couple. Weiss goes to eight. High stand. I think he's at the line. He's got the first down. He's at the 45. First down, Bruins. Move the chains. First down is the signal. UCLA does a lot of putting that guy in motion as well. That wing back from the one side. He stand takes that one and gets just enough for a first down. Quarterback sneak and still pushing the pile. Quarterback deep up the middle, picks up five at the 50 yard line on the helmet. Quarterback Owen Weiss. Number 11, Luke Patrick. Five yards. Frelis U minus up church 72, goes to North Grove Elementary. Miss Wolf, favorite teacher. He says he likes to get to make those big tackles, making those big hits. Kobe Cherry, favorite Trojan, likes Patrick Mahomes. Big highlight being mentored in my first season by the LSU coaching staff, especially Coach Paxson. He says he loves to play football and collects retro Jordans. Oh, look at that. That's a first. That is. Good gain by, I think that was he staying again. Gets enough for a first down, so UCLA moving those chains and Driving the ball down the field. Well played championship game so far between UCLA and LSU. Owen Weiss, great knowledge of the offense, great leadership. There's Thong, but he gets tackled in the, in the backfield by number 75 for LSU, Garrett. Beatty. I think we got a hold as well. We'll see if LSU will probably take that penalty. Lost a couple of yards on the carry. Looks like they're going to march him back. Jackson Bowles for LSU, number 62. Goes to Sugar Grove. Misses Small and misses is it Whitman, I believe. Favorite teacher. Teachers. Best part about football for Jackson, winning. Big fan of Caden Curry, former Trojan now playing for the Buckeyes. Favorite NFL player of all time. Just do it. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Oh, man, I, I used to love to watch him. Man, just wish his career wouldn't have, wouldn't have uh, uh, ended ended as quickly as it did because he was fun to watch in, in football and baseball. Oh, Bruins finding something with number eight. That's he Stan. Stan. He Stan. Some nice moves by He Stan to finish up with Jackson. Says his uh, highlight, making a tackle for a three-yard loss against Ole Miss. And he says, left-handed baseball player, but he hits right, wants to go to Auburn University, went to the Super Bowl last year, and they were runner-up. And then he says, hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a kid last year that had that on his. I bet you it's the same I one. I bet it's he the was, same kid. He was with Auburn last year, and they were runner-up. <laughs> I, I don't think he caught. I think that ball might have skipped. But. Football at the 40. Bruins third and six. 
We're in the second quarter, 7-6. Really good game, LSU by one. Some movement, but LSU did not come across. Oh, he's open. Oh, that's oh go just head. got a little excited. Yeah. Threw it too high. Let him too much. Weiss. Yeah, that was Parker Batchelder out there at wide receiver, and he did have several steps out there, but Weiss just threw a little bit over his head. So this is going to bring up a big fourth down play here for both teams. The UCLA profiles just arrived. <laughs> Counter crisscross. Oh, he stand makes the guy miss. Out of bounds. Tremendous run. Yeah, he had a chance to get tackled there. Wouldn't have made the first down, but you'll see it on the replay. He stand did a great job of just cutting back and got through that arm tackle, and he got enough for a first down. Four minutes and 13 seconds left here in the second quarter. First down for UCLA. They'd love nothing more than run this clock all the way down and punch it in the end zone. Quick hitter to he stand again. He's, yeah, he picks up a tough six yards on first down. 75, Garrett Beatty makes the play. And a tight regular season matchup, Kevin, and we're in for the same in this championship game. 18 to 13, LSU won that regular season matchup. UCLA right now on top, 7-6, and marching. And we're working on the scoreboard there. We'll get that corrected for you. Second down, the toss. He stand. Man, he just breaks tackles. He does a really good job. Yeah, right there. Packs Yards came after in, contact. He was able to break that tackle from him and get really close to a first down, third and short. Third and one at the 13 yard line for UCLA. Quarterback sneak. Weiss is. Weiss got the first down. Really good push. Yeah. At the seven yard line. I mean, he got five yards on that quarterback sneak. So, guess what I would do, Kevin, on first and goal on the seven yard line? Run the same darn play. If I get three yards of pop, I'm going to be in the end zone in three plays here from the seven. And I might run more clock off and not give LSU much time left to try to put points of the, on the board themselves. Well, much better job there. They only got one yard. LSU, good job of bunching that up and not giving Weiss much space. Now they're saying Weiss on Weiss. the PA, so I guess we'll go with Weiss. Six yard line. Had it right the first time. You know, my, my German heritage, Kevin, sees that I, that's what you pronounce when it's E-I. Second and goal at the six. He stand, cuts it back inside. He's in, He's in to the end zone. Touchdown. Six yards. For He stand, you see him once again make a nice 
A little cutback, boom, right there. Sees where the opening is, and he just scoots into the end zone. And major coaches down to the track, please, for a halftime presentation here in about two minutes. CLA got a player a little dinged up. Might be Thong on 15 coming off. So Spencer Mann for UCLA goes to Maple Grove. Big highlight making it to the Super Bowl. Big fan of Purdue. Yes, sir. Waiting for one of those all day, Kevin, and it finally came. Glad you got the UCLA player sheets. Spencer Mann, number one. Also for UCLA, Parker Batchelder. Batchelder, number two, Sugar Grove is where he attends. Big highlight, catching a touchdown pass. He likes being a wide receiver. This game's fast, and we got a lot of player profiles. So we're going to just abbreviate them a little bit, not read every part of it. Jack Myers, number three for UCLA, he goes to middle school north. Favorite NFL player, Earl Campbell. Oh. Because of the stiff arm. Earl Campbell was fun to watch, too, back in the day. Says his uh, favorite Trojan, Drew Wheat. Go Drew, another one with UCLA. Drew Wheat scored a 67-yard touchdown run today in his first College football game. Nice. St. Francis. Zach Heistan, we've been talking about him. He stand. Is it he stand we said? I think that's what we're he going stand. with. He stand. Number eight, middle school central. Says he likes Carson Steele. Fifth grade semifinal game against LU. The big highlight for him. Appears we got the score now on the board correct. 13 6 UCLA. Still huddling. Yeah, UCLA did call a timeout there. I think they had an equipment issue with one of their kids and wanted to call a timeout to get make sure he was in for this one-point conversion play. Going for one. Hand off, cuts it back inside. Is it him? Yeah. He stand makes it. 14-6 at UCLA. With the lead over LSU in this minor division championship. I should say major division championship, excuse me. A great drive there by UCLA to finish off the second quarter, Kevin. And and uh, get that eight-point lead now over over LSU, the undefeated number one seed Tigers. For LSU, we got Brody Langona, number 60, goes to Center Grove Elementary. Big fan of Tyler Cherry and Drake McClurg of the CG Trojans. Here comes Luke Paxson. Gets tripped up. And he gets hit in the backfield by number on the 40, up two. 48, I believe, Dominic Matson. Wesley Scholl, number 48 for LSU. Goes to Center Grove Middle School Central. Likes Caden Curry of the Trojans, now playing for Ohio State. Likes Anthony Richardson of the Colts. Paxson, breaking tackle, oh. spin move. Finally taken down at the 44, at the UCLA 44. Saving tackle by Eastan. Yeah, no one, no one Weiss tried to rip at the ball by Paxson. I thought he might have it. That's why I hollered right here. He rips at it, but Paxson hangs on to it. Big first down, LSU moving the ball. Going fast with a minute. 18 left, they spike it to stop the clock with a minute 15. Owen Weiss, number 11 for UCLA, quarterback, Center Grove Middle School Central. Caden Curry, his favorite Trojan of all time. Highlight semifinal playoff game this year, two passing touchdowns and two rushing touchdowns. That's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good outing. He's got a brother, Jake, Jace, I think. Played football last year and won the Super Bowl as a rookie. Up the middle. 
Paxson. Host of, yeah, that wasn't Paxson. That was Lucas Berger on the head of me. number and 47, Liam Kohler. Third down, Tigers. I think that was Connor Phoenix, number eight. Number eight for LSU. Football at the 42. Third and eight. 40 seconds to play. Man in motion. They're going to hand it off to Paxson. Paxson on the carry, cuts it back. Does a good job. He takes the, the hit, does that spin Tommy move to try and get that additional Brewer. yardage. LSU calls a timeout, stops the clock with 33 seconds for UCLA. Chanza Thong, number 15, goes to Center Grove, Middle School North. Favorite thing about football, he says running the ball, and he says also kicking field goals. Likes Brandon Wheat, former Trojan. He said, big highlight, five guys trying to knock me down, but still going. <laughs> That's the way to do it, young man. Liam Toller, number 47 for UCLA, goes to Sugar Grove, making friends and playing with teammates, sacking the quarterback. Big highlights for him about football. He likes Drew Wheat. He was my group leader at Power Club. Ah. He said he taught him a lot. He said, um, big highlight, making it to the Super Bowl, my second year playing tackle being coached by Coach Brickley. Big play here, Kevin. Fourth and two for LSU. 33 seconds left in the second quarter. Paxson gets it. Oh, and he's met in the backfield. Oh, my, what a play. Bone crushing tackle. That's 75. 75. Lucas Bergeron. Wow. Middle linebacker, but right there, he was on the, on the defensive line, and he met Paxson and stood him up. Wow, huge play on fourth down. Turnover on downs. It'll be UCLA ball. 25 seconds left. Opening half. Clock's running. Yeah, they, they only have maybe one, maybe two plays here. Counter crisscross. He's got space. Uh-oh, fumble. Recovered by UCLA. Was that Thong that popped it up? Yeah, the clock should still be running. 91 made the big recovery there. I want to let you say his name, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Big H. <laughs> Owen. Hera. Harrisonovich. That's there what we're we go. going with. That'll be halftime. Halftime. 14-6. UCLA leads LSU in the Senegal Bannon Football League Major Division Championship game. Our race go on group halftime show is up next. Today's games are being presented by Howard Company. Inventory is the highest and prices are the lowest. We're fully stocked on GMC Sierras again with the best lease prices of the year. Right now, get a GMC Sierra 1500 for as low as $349 a month. Or save up to $67.50 on the purchase of a new Sierra and get financing as low as 0.9%. Plus, be payment-free for the rest of 2023. U.S. 31 South or I-465 in East Washington Street or RaceGumaCars.com. Welcome to Championship Saturday for the Center Grove Bantam Football League. This is the Heidelberger All-State Insurance pregame show, pregame for multiple games. As we stand here in Ray Skillman Stadium, it's one of the neat weeks or days of the year for you, Coach, as you get to come out here after your practice, after the freshman JV play, and we get to see multiple games of our Center Grove Bantam Football League, their championships, along with the Junior Trojans who are starting their playoffs. Your thoughts and wishing all the kids luck. Yeah, 24 years of uh, watching these, this league grow and watching these teams come and play the Super Bowl today in Ray Skillman Stadium, the championships for all the teams and all the, league, all the age groups. But this is the Super Bowl. This is what they put the pads on in August and July and, and, and train and do all the stuff they do so they could be one of those elite kids that get to play out here today. 
Thank you for playing uh, football. Thank you for playing Bantam football. And I wish everybody luck. I know someone's got to lose, but, man, I just hope we all have a great time and everybody comes and enjoys their day on Ray Skillman Stadium on the Trojan football field. All right, we're here with the major UCLA Bruins who will be taking on uh, the LSU Tigers today. Uh, I'm here with Coach Ed Brickley, um, who's been, been here a few times in the Super Bowl. Coach, the first time around, um, it was a close game, I think a uh, five-point game. You guys lost your only loss of the season. Um, you were the only team, I believe, that held this team under 20 points. What's the keys for uh, a victory today? Uh, simple football, blocking, tackling. Uh, last game we didn't tackle very well. We gave up some easy points. Uh, we've moved some things around. We've moved some personnel around, really worked on tackling. Uh, the team that tackles the best is going to win the football game, whether it's going to be them or us. Hopefully the tackling guys are on our side today. All right, thanks, Coach. Now we'll uh, do some introductions. So first, cheerleaders. Hi there. Um, hi. We have Addie. Hey, hey. Addie. Hi, job, Addie. Sydney. Hi. Navy. And Violet and Everly's not here, but she's on the team as well. And now for the players, Coach. Uh, the front row, we've got, uh, as I call your name, just raise your hand, Jack Myers, Chanza Thong, Chase Mann, Parker Batchelder, Dom Madsen, Spencer Mann, Jordan Kiesling. Back on the other side, we got Chris Bryant, Liam Toller, Zach Heaston, Owen Weiss, Reed Gang, Owen Harasimovich, and Lucas Bergeron. All right, thanks, Coach. Best of luck, Bruins. All right, I'm here with J.B. Paxson, coach of the LSU Tigers in the major division. J.B., a former player, um, has his team here undefeated. Haven't lost on the season, but they did have one close one, and it was against their opponent today, UCLA. Um, coach, what's the key to victory today? Hey, we're, we're happy to be here, and uh, it's going to come down to, to blocking and tackling like it has all season long, and uh, it's going to be a fun game. And uh, thanks to you, Brent, for a great season. And... Uh, Go Tigers. All right, thanks, Coach. Let's uh, introduce our team here. Okay, hey, up front, uh, we got 62, Jackson Broles. He plays defensive line for us, does a great job. Uh, moving uh, to his left, we got 93, Grayson Harris, offensive guard, plays defensive tackle for us. He's on the Pro Bowl team. He does a great job for us. In the middle, he's probably already smiling at you. That's all he does. 91, S.J. Raker. And uh, his dad's helped us out this year tremendously with some defense. And uh, we're, we're glad to have him. This is his first year playing in the Bantam League. And uh, we're, we're glad to have him. Uh, we got Hollywood with the shades on, 48 Wesley Scholl. Uh, this is my second year coaching Wesley. Great kid, great family. And uh, look forward to following him uh, the next couple years. Plays defensive end and an offensive tackle for us. Uh, might want to remember the name here, 72 Midas Church. He's going to be dominating on Friday nights before too long. Um, done a great job for us this year at offensive guard and uh, playing some defense for us as well. Down to his left, Garrett Beatty, number 75. Uh, don't tell UCLA, but that's who we're going to run behind pretty much all game today like we have all season long. He's done a great job for us. Um, over here, I got our split end and cornerback, Dominique Hines, number two. He's one of our big sixth graders. I think you won it last year, didn't you? So he's going for a repeat today. We hope we'll bring that home for him. I got number one right here. Uh, first year playing football, James Roller, tremendous athlete, great baseball player, really good basketball player. He's pretty good quarterback and corner for us. Uh, very proud to have him. Number three, Wilford Frazier. Uh, probably leads our team in tackles. Great blocker, great running back for us uh, from the wing back, fullback position. He's, he's ready to have a big one today. Uh, 11, Luke Paxson. People say they lo he looks like me, but I think he looks like his mom a little bit. Let's hope he plays like uh, his cousin True tonight. Uh, he's been tremendous for us all year long, and uh, I'm glad to have him. Hardest hitter in the league. I know I wouldn't want to have him tackle me. Eight, Connor Phoenix. 
uh, from the word go today, you'll see uh, he's not afraid to hit you. He does a great job and uh, scores a bunch of touchdowns and, and does a great job for us. Keeping it in the family over here, 15, Jake Llewellyn, his first time uh, playing in the league. I think I still say his name wrong every once in a while, but uh, we're, we're certainly glad to have him. He is probably hands down the smartest kid on the LSU roster. And then we got uh, 60, Brody Langona, uh, second time coaching him. Does a great job for us at tight end as well as our middle linebacker. Be prepared to see him make lots of tackles for us today. Thanks, Brent. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck, guys. Have fun today. Welcome to the Race Going Auto Group Halftime Show. Major Division Championship Halftime. It's 14 6. UCLA. Good ball game. Let's now join public address announcer Andy Moore for the presentation of the Sportsmanship Awards and the Coach of the Year Award for the Major Division. We can have your attention please to the home side on the numbers. Each year the league likes to recognize a sportsmanship award winner from each team in the rookie, minor, and major division. Today's representatives and winners from the LSU Tigers, Midas Upchurch. From the Indiana Hoosiers, Cooper Mathias. From the Purdue Boilermakers, Noah Daniels. From the Army Black Knights, Caleb Wilson. From the Navy Midshipmen, Kyle Risk. From the Georgia Bulldogs, Charlie Reinecker. From the Old Miss Rebels, Jagger Patterson. From the Tennessee Volunteers, Solomon Roberts. From the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, Oliver Baker. From the UCLA Bruins, Liam Toller. Congratulations, Sportsmanship Award winners from the Major Division. Also, each year, voted on by the coaches for the Coach Coaches Award. This year's recipient and winner, Ed Brickley from the UCLA Bruins. And I correct myself, that's voted on by the officials. At this time, we would like to welcome the Spencer family. Sorry, this was a hard one. Yeah. And this year's recipient of the JT Spencer Volunteer of the Year Award is a legend here at Center Girl Band of Football, Mr. Scott Hines.
Congratulations. Congratulations to Coach Hines, Coach Brickley. Rick, they do an awful lot for the Center Grove football program. There's no one more deserving of the volunteer of the year than than Scott Hines, and, and you're right, Kevin. He's been around for many, many years, and you see him down there getting a picture with, with his family, and, and uh, Scott just does an amazing job for the entire football program, and, and uh, he's a big reason why another, you know, Coach Hines, or Coach Moore would talk about why he's had been so successful over the years as those guys sitting down there on that sidelines uh, and Scott Hines a big part of that and like you said coach Brickley his 15th year coaching Bantam Kevin this is out of 15 years his eighth Super Bowl that he's been in in those uh, those eight years and our 15 years and right now his team's on top the number two seed UCLA 14 to 6 over LSU back to our player profiles Big thank you to the US UCLA team. I'm bringing thank up the uh, profiles for the Bruins. We'll get to that one later. Have a hard time reading the writing sometimes. Christopher Bryant, number 58 for UCLA. Goes to Center Grove Middle School. Doesn't, I don't know if it's central or north. Doesn't really say. Probably central. Says Mr. Rodman, his favorite teacher. Sudden having a hard time reading some of this handwriting. I don't know if it's me, if it's getting late in the day or what. Chase Mann, number 62, goes to Center Grove Middle School Central. Says he likes the, the, the blocking, understanding the game of football better. Says a big highlight, having a great coach my first year. This is my first year playing, which helped me to be a, be a winning team. Let's go to UCLA for some of these player profiles. We got Jake Llewellyn, number 15. He goes to Indian Creek Middle School. He likes to tackle. His favorite Trojans of all time. He says, My uncles, Jeff Paxson and JB Paxson. Says he returned a kickoff for a touchdown with one shoe on. Shoeless <laughs> Jake Llewellyn. There we go. So, Shoeless Joe Jackson, right? He says he shows cattle and sheep at the county fair. Luke Paxson, number 11, goes to middle school central. He likes to celebrate with his team after big plays. Favorite Trojan, his dad, JB. Of course, True Paxson also is what? Cousin, I guess it would be. Yep. And then uh, says scoring four touchdowns against Georgia this season, a big highlight. Thanks to all my family for coming to my games and supporting me the last six years in Bana. All right, we're ready for the second half. We'll do our best to get through these player profiles before the game concludes. We'll do one more for UCLA. Jordan Keesling, number 72, goes to Sugar Grove. Likes to run the ball. Big fan of Tyler Cherry. And he loves playing for Coach Brickley. That's the big highlight. That's a there you go. very well said. All right, Rick, we're ready for the second half. we got a good one. Last game ended up being a little bit lopsided in the minor division. First game was 6-0 in the rookie, and this one still tight, 14-6 UCLA with the lead, but LSU with the ball to begin the second half. Luke Paxson right off the bat. He's their workhorse, and he picks up good six and a half yards on first down. To the 41 yard line, six yards. Second down and four. Long signal counts. Paxson takes the handoff oh, from the wing hit. back position, loses a yard. Let's see who gets up from the bottom of that pile. 75, Lucas Bergeron. He was the one that had the big stick on 
fourth down against Paxson right there from that middle linebacker position. He does the same thing, shoots the gap, and LSU got to figure out a way to get him blocked. I mean, this is an LSU team, Kevin, that came in averaging 36 points a game on offense, and UCLA's held him, them to seven so far. Third and five. Collision with Paxson in the backfield guess with the who, other though? running back. He did get bumped, but guess who? 75. Bergeron is having himself a ball game. That's our next profile, Lucas Bergeron, number 75, goes to middle school north and says he likes pancakes. That's the best part about football, making those big blocks. He likes uh, Noah Coy and Nate Johnson of the Trojans. Big highlight, had a fifth grade Pro Bowl interception, and he said he met Nick Saban. Roll oh, Tide, he nice. says. Fourth and six here for LSU. Yeah, I think LSU tried to get them to just draw them offside, but credit to UCLA defense. They're back off the ball about a yard, and now we'll see what LSU decides to do as that clock winds down. Number eight. Oh. Big gainer. Phoenix. Wow. Got blockers. Nobody's going to catch him. 61 yards, Kevin. And that whole play just looked a little bit disjointed from the LSU side. Just some confusion. They tried to draw them offside, and I thought, well, maybe they're just going to call a timeout here. But they go ahead and run the play, and Phoenix goes off to the races, makes a nice cutback, and he goes 61 yards. Huge, huge play. And now an even bigger play to try to tie this game up with the two-point conversion. Connor Phoenix. James Roller. Puts his man in motion. The Man, toss. I got oh, a boy. over here. The first defender stays on his feet, but you're saying there's a flag down somewhere. Yeah, they got all. Uh, they got, yeah, false start on the defense, so. It'll stand. Two point, or is it? Yeah, two point conversion. Yeah. Paxson broke a couple tackles on that. You see it here. One, two, three. Arm tackles are not going to bring down Luke Paxson. Fights his way into the end zone. Two points good, and we have a brand new ball game, Kevin. <laughs> so we got the next profile. This is for UCLA. And it's for Owen. And it says, Owen, quote, alphabet, because his last name is <laughs> very long, Harris Somovich, number 91. Maple Grove is where he goes to school. He says, favorite thing about football, it's fun, and I love getting better every day. His favorite Trojan of all time, Jordan Cox. Big highlight, getting to the Super Bowl two years in a row. Ohio State Miners last year. I love this team and loves his coaches. You know what, Kevin? I get a little... You know, mad sometimes when people forget the, the second E in Embry. I can't imagine that young man, how many times his last name's been misspelled. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or, and mispronounced. And mispronounced, you're right. I like his attitude, though. Owen Alphabet. Well, now UCLA back at it. After LSU gets that all-important fourth down conversion, takes it to the house. For UCLA, Reed Gang, 93, goes to Sugar Grove, likes to make tackles. Big fan of Taven Jackson. Big highlight, just my first ever game. At the 40, second down and five. Movement in the backfield, flags on the field against the Bruins. Yep, that's going to back them up, make it second and nine, maybe second and ten. Oh, I like this. I've never had this before. 
Coach Brickley filled out a player profile. Ah, nice. He says UCLA majors under player name Coach Brickley. Name of the school Southport High School, 19, <laughs> 1987. Mrs. Mm, was a grand staff favorite teacher. Uh, favorite thing about coaching: watching growth of players. Yeah. My favorite center girl football players. He says my sons: Eddie Brickley the third, Patrick Brickley, and his favorite NFL player of all time: Barry Sanders. And we'll see a play here from the oh, UCLA Weiss. quarterback, Weiss, down he's the gonna sideline. Go. And he's going to take it all the way for a 65 touchdown. 65 yards, the quarterback bootleg. Run to perfection. And Weiss with his second touchdown of the game. And UCLA strikes right back, Kevin. Wow. Look at the replay. Got the yeah. perimeter, turned the corner, and off he went. Well, and how about the block out there? He only needed one little block, and Parker Batchelder was out there, and he's the one that, that comes up with that block, that uh, final one that Weiss then scoots into the end zone from 65 yards. So to finish up with Coach Brickley's profile, big highlight, he said, being able to coach with all three of his sons as assistant coaches. That's pretty cool there. That is. Well done, Coach Brickley. Been a big fan of Coach Brickley through the years. And he's got him in the end zone. Two point, nope, one point conversion. So what is it, 21 14 UCLA? Weiss to Bergeron. He's been great on the defensive side. And right there, he scoots out of the, from the tight end position. And Weiss hits him perfectly, the lefty. Really like the ball that Weiss throws. Connor Phoenix, he's been very good today for LSU, number eight. He goes to Center Grove Middle School North. Brody Tilton, his favorite Trojan. He had a great oh, game yeah. today. Took the opening kickoff. In the, what, freshman game, was it? Yep, Tilton took that opening kickoff yeah. about 65 yards for a touchdown. Big highlight for Connor says, I hit somebody so hard their helmet almost came off. <laughs> he says, I also play basketball, but football is my favorite. Paxson gets it to the 39, Owen, four yards. Owen Weiss, with the tackle. Weiss with a nice stick. Just a couple heavyweights, Kevin. We thought this would be a great matchup coming in, number one versus number two, and it has lived up to the height. That's Trying to move the pile, here. but UCLA defense stiffens. Number They're going to put it at the 42. The alphabet. The alphabet <laughs> with the tackle. 91. Everybody needs a nickname, right? Absolutely. Saw double A last night after the game. <laughs> I said, nice game, double A. He liked it. He kind of nodded his head at me. One of the varsity players for CG. Our gear. Our ball. Run. Crosses the 45. First down. First down. Got for it. the Tigers. Number three for the Tigers, Wilfred Frazier goes to middle school central. He likes to score touchdowns, causing turnovers. Caden Curry's favorite Trojan of all time. Hitting, big highlight, hitting someone so hard my tooth fell out. <laughs> that's, a, that's a stick. We've been doing this for years. Never had an answer quite like that, ever. Oh, man, great stick. Phoenix rocked. I think that was Weiss. Weiss. Hmm. Not bad for quarterback. No, from the safety position. Which Brickley said he's a solid tackler. You saw it right there. This will out on the field. So also for UCLA, the assistant coach, Coach Roberts, doing a profile. <laughs> Says uh, what he likes about coaching football, friendships and trust within each player. His favorite Trojan of all time, Javon Swan. He likes Peyton Manning and big highlight, being able to coach alongside my dad, four brothers, Coach Brick, Eddie, and Patrick. Well said, Coach Roberts. We have a fumble. Yeah, his knee was down there. Third and nine. 
Dominic Hines, number two for LSU. He goes to middle school north. He likes to make tackles. His favorite Trojan of all time is his head coach, J.B. Paxson. And he said a big highlight playing in the 2022 Super Bowl. Here he is playing again in 2023. I wonder if he got out the grainy black and white videos of J.B. playing from back <laughs> in the day. Third and nine. Good hesitation. Trying to get to that 50-yard line. They're going to put him at the 50. So now you're going to have another really important fourth down play, Kevin. Last time, Coach Paxson dialed one up, and Phoenix took it 61 yards for a touchdown on fourth and five. You got another fourth and five situation here. Huge, huge spot in this ball game. Fourth down. Football at the 50, fourth and five for LSU. Big play. They're down 21-14. Final minute of this third quarter. Paxson goes in motion. Takes the handoff. No, cuts it out. doesn't get it. Couldn't quite get the edge. Is that Weiss again? No, I think that was Thong. Thong gets yeah. the tackle. Great sure tackle there. I thought Paxson might bounce that one to the outside, but you see it here, 15 Thong. Well, he couldn't bounce at the outside because UCLA did a good job of that cornerback coming in and making him cut it up, and then boom, Thong was there, and what a big stop for UCLA with under a minute to go now in the third quarter. Big stop by UCLA. Final seconds here in this third quarter. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. He's gone. No, Paxson's going to be Paxson Paxson chases him down. Number eight with a nice pickup. That's he's he stand. Man. Boy, he runs effortlessly, doesn't he? Yeah, he's he does. really smooth. UCLA is going to be perfectly happy to make that the quarter as they all run off and they'll wind the clock. That will be the end of the third quarter, Kevin. Probably sneak in a couple more player profiles. Got another coach profile. How about that? That does bring us to the end of the third. 21-14 UCLA in this major division championship. So for UCLA, Coach Eddie Brickley, what he likes about coaching, watching the kids progress and gain confidence in themselves as the season goes on. He says here, favorite Trojan of all time, unbiasedly, himself. <laughs> <laughs> Likes Christian McCaffrey and says big highlight, getting my first win as a head coach this year when my dad couldn't make it to the game due to a varsity <laughs> football conflict. Go Bruins. That was probably that Saturday, Kevin, over at St. Uh, Saint, Saint, playing St. Edwards over on Saturday in Canton. That's funny. For UCLA, we have James Roller, number one. Goes to Center Grove Central. Mrs. Lassiter, favorite teacher. Like to thank head coach Eric Moore in the South End Zone for coming so to the So what he likes about football is game day and forward. running. And he says his favorite CG football player currently is Blaze, is it Wittis? Whitus, yeah. Whitus, Wittis. Patrick Mahomes, his favorite pro player, and he says here, big highlight, the first time I ever ran the ball, I scored. And he says, I have a very good older sister named Lily. Huh. Who was nice that? What was that last name? Roller. Hmm. He should All have right. mentioned what she was good in, which sport, or maybe multiple sports, maybe football. All right, UCLA with the football. We're ready for the fourth quarter. They're in front, 21-14. Oh, big hole again. Oh, great tackle, I, I though. stand. He stand, excuse me. Yeah, that was 70. Garrett Beatty yeah, with Beattie, the tackle. If Beatty doesn't make that tackle, he stand maybe off to the races again. LSU has to come up with a stop on this drive. Getting down two scores against this UCLA team is going to be very difficult to come back. 
quarterback, quarterback keeps it. Weiss broke a couple tackles. Weiss, but. yeah, he's been good today. Here's our final player profile for UCLA. Dominic, is it Matheson? Number 48 goes to St. Francis St. Clair. What he likes about football, getting to make people tackle people and learning new positions. Chris Pearson, his favorite Trojan of all time. Tanner Riley also, and Caden Curry. Mm. Old school, I like it. Mm -hmm. Big fan of Chris Pearson and also Tanner Riley. Highlight, first year, went to the Super Bowl and won. Here he is again playing in the Super Bowl. Just inside the 25 at the 24 here for the Bruins. The man in motion takes the handoff. Oh, he didn't read that block. Great kind tackle. Hesitated. Spencer should say James Roller with the tackle. That's where you had that blocker. Running back was out in front of him trying to kick that guy out. You got to cut it up right here. That's where the hole was. But a big stop by LSU on third down. And now fourth and eight. We'll see what the Brickley family dials up here. And huge, huge part of this ball game. LSU needs this stop to stay in this game. Get the ball back. Quarterback rolls left, Weiss throws and completes. Not going to get there. Didn't quite get enough. He's inside the 20 to the 19. Going to be about a, I say a yard, yard and a half short. Yeah, a good job by that LSU defense, Paxson and Beatty. You see it there. He catches it. He cuts back like you have to, but then those guys step up to stop him about, like you said, Kevin, a yard shy of a first down. And. LSU still alive in this game. Now they got to mount a drive on offense. Got to go 81 yards to get in the end zone. Roller hands it off. Connor Phoenix. Connor Phoenix up the gut. Spins his way to the 24. They got big playability, Kevin, on that. LSU backfield between Phoenix, who's got a 61-yard touchdown run, and Paxson's got a 29-yard touchdown run. So they got the ability to take it to the house in one play. UCLA going to have to be really solid. Paxson. Paxson, first down. To the 31. Oh, Paxson slipped in the backfield. He's trying to cut it up where the open hole was, but he slips after a short gain or no gain. And that clock continues to tick. LSU, your number one seed, 12 and 0. Trailing number two seed, UCLA, who's 11 and 1. We thought it would be a great game, Kevin, and it's, it's definitely been that. Still got four minutes to go. Quarterback's going to keep it. Roller rolling and running and out of bounds. Yeah, he's going to be just shy of a first down, but a good gain on second and long by Roller. He gets seven. Weiss again with the tackle. He's been good on offense, good on defense from that safety position. Hands it off. Is that Paxson again? Oh, he's still going, Kevin. Paxson just breaking tackles, still on his feet. Wow. What an incredible effort. Oh, my. Luke Paxson. Great determination. That's exactly what that was because he got hit multiple times. He just kept the, the thing they didn't do is, like, you got to tackle a guy like that low 
Tackle at the ankles. Great balance, strength at the 39. Better job tackling. Yeah, they, this time it was Connor Phoenix. They wrapped up lower that time. And that's Phoenix. Gets a yard. Bergeron, Bergeron again for UCLA. In the middle linebacker position. And now LSU tried to go hurry up there to try to catch UCLA napping a little bit. The clock ticks under three minutes. This is the drive that's going to decide the ball game, Kevin. Deep motion, packs and takes the handoff. He goes right, comes back left. Still on, oh, just tripped up. Yeah, just got him around the ankle tops. That's Weiss. First down, LSU. At the 28 yard line. Obviously, Coach Paxson, you got to put the ball in the end zone, but he doesn't want to leave too much time for that UCLA team. Paxson, I'm sure, now his son Luke comes out for a quick breather. That won't last very long, maybe one play. Phoenix gets it. Phoenix. And Bergeron again. Actually, that one was 47. 47 Liam, Liam Toller. Toller getting his name over the PA for that tackle. Two minutes, Rick. Two minutes and counting. This one's going right down to the wire. And you know, I mean, he scores here. It's a one-point game, and Paxson's went for two both times, so he's going to go for the win. If they do get in the end zone, but they got to get in the end zone first. He's still got, I think, two timeouts left. Second down and nine. Here comes Paxson. Paxson going left and ah, that time they met him in the hole. They were ready for him. Much better job of, of gang tackling and somebody grabbed his legs low. And that clock is going. Dominic Madison, I think, was the one that squared him up. 48. Under this one's gonna be close to a minute to go before they get this snapped. Third down. Paxson, Paxson doing again. a much better job tackling. Yeah, you got to call a timeout. That's what JB's doing here. Calls a timeout because now biggest play of the game now coming up, Kevin. Fourth and five for LSU. All of a sudden, UCLA really tackling well. Gang tackling. Yeah. Gang tackling and somebody is hitting him low. You cannot tackle Paxson around the shoulder pads. He's too strong, and uh, he gets through those tackles, and that's when you see him break away for long runs. Last two times, you're exactly right. He, UCLA, that defense stepped up, and now Coach Brickley wants one more play from his defense. 52 seconds left in the major championship game. This is our fifth game out of six today on deck. We got the Junior Trojans getting ready to play their first round playoff game against Ben Davis. They beat Ben Davis during the regular season. Of course, JRT under Coach McCoy. Undefeated league champs. Now they're going to try to win the uh, tournament championship. See some of the Ben Davis JRT kids rolling in. And here we go, Kevin. This is uh, this is the ball game right here if LSU doesn't make it. They got to get it to the 18 for the first down. Fourth and five. Packs in a deep motion. Roller's going to keep it the quarterback, and he's hit. He's trying to get that extra yardage. He's not going to get it. Wow. UCLA makes the stop at the 21-yard line, three yards shy, a turnover on downs with 45 seconds to play. Let's see who made the tackle. And there was a host of Tigers right there. Boom. Was that Weiss coming from the safety position? Hard to tell with that sun glaring and the, and the uniforms, but... I mean, UCLA steps up big right there, and they can simply – Ted's favorite formation here, Kevin, victory formation. 
take a knee a couple times, and that's ball game. I think UCL, or LSU has one timeout left, but I don't think Coach Paxson's going to opt to use it. Well, so, he does use it. So UCLA lost, what, 18-13 18-13. during the regular season. They're one loss, and they avenge that loss if they can take care of business with the snaps and so forth and get the final 37 seconds under their belt, but they're up 21-14. You're right, Coach Paxson calls the timeout. Well, and the fact that, I mean, this LSU LSU team came in, Kevin, averaging 36 points a game, and uh, UCLA has held them to 14 today, and that's been all the difference. UCLA, on the other hand, came in averaging only 14 points a game, uh, but they'd only allowed 38 points, so about three points a game. And that defense for UCLA stood up big on that last drive. And, and they're 37 seconds away from walking out of here with Coach Brickley's swan song, Kevin. And uh, his team's going to send him out a winner. Great run for Coach Brickley. That will do it. Oh, he's got one more timeout to use, but. 35 seconds to go. Saw Coach Brickley last night at the varsity game. Talked to him for a little bit. We talked about, I said, I, I said there might be some questions if we see number 33 for your UCLA team coming out of the <laughs> locker room. There actually is no, they, we, all, we got the UCLA teams in Bantam because of, you know, obviously Carson Steele playing for UCLA, but he said we don't have any number 33 jerseys in Bantam because we really didn't know what Carson's number was going to be. It was kind of like too late to get the jerseys oh, ordered. Uh, I guess the jerseys for Bantam had already been ordered, Got so it. that might be something they can work on for next year potentially. Yeah, that would have been one that about all the kids on the team would have wanted that number. <laughs> yeah, that could have created some problems. We've got some more flags. This going against uh, LSU. I think they're trying to jump that snap count. Trying to maybe, I don't know, just force a turnover, obviously. Anything they can do. I mean, he's trying to just dive at the ball there, but that's going to do it, Kevin. 21-14, UCLA wins the major division championship here at Ray Skillman Stadium over LSU, handing the Tigers their first loss of the season. What a ball game, Rick. That was a fantastic game, Kevin. That lived up to the one versus two matchup. And uh, credit and, and congratulations to Coach Brickley and his staff for a Super Bowl win. Congratulations to Coach Pax and his LSU team. Fantastic uh, season and just came up a little bit short. What a day here at Ray Skillman Stadium. The rookie, minor, and now major championship games are in the books. UCLA finishes it off with a heck of a win, 21-14 over the LSU Tigers. Today's game is presented by Howard Companies. and prices are the lowest. We're fully stocked on GMC Sierras again with the best lease prices of the year. Right now, get a GMC Sierra 1500 for as low as $349 a month, or save up to $6750 on the purchase of a new Sierra and get financing as low as 0.9%. Plus, be payment-free for the rest of 2023. US 31 South or I-465 in East Washington Street or racegumandcars.com. All right, congratulations to both major teams here. We had a tough-fought game. Bruins come out on top. Congratulations, Coach. Both coaches, great season. Um, we will first award our LSU cheerleaders. Do we have a cheer coach? Oh, God, am I? Yeah. That's great. Love it. You just want to call their name and then okay. I can hand you one at a time. Perfect. All right, um, LSU cheerleaders, first up is Nora. Then we've got Kennedy. Great job. 
All right, and Ella's next. And we've got Penny. Next up is Tessa. And we've got Vivian. And Hadley. Sweet little Maya. Fiona. Yeah, there's just one more. And Avery Grace. Uh, great job, LSU cheerleaders, all season long. Um, We'll start, uh, first of all, UCLA, congratulations on a great season, great uh, game today. We didn't want it to be you guys, but it was, and uh, we, we thought that might happen. Great job to you guys, congratulations. I know, it's Bantam football, I shouldn't do this, right? But uh, James Roller. Dominique Hines. Wilford Frazier. Number eight, Connor Phoenix. Uh, number 11, Luke Paxson. Fifteen, my nephew, Jake Low Island. Forty eight, Wesley Scholl. Sixty, Brody Langona. Sixty two, Jackson Rolls. 72, our Sportsmanship Award winner, Midas Upchurch. 75, Garrett Beatty. 91, S.J. Raker. 's our guy all year long and again today I'm gonna miss him 93 Grayson Harris 93. thanks coach great season LSU it's tough to go undefeated keep your heads up you had a great season all right now on to the Bruins uh, we'll start with our cheerleaders all right all right let's do Sydney All right, Addy. <laughs> Navy. <laughs> Good job, girl. Violet. <laughs> and Nora. Good job, girl. Thank you. Thank you. And now your Super Bowl champs, the UCLA Bruins. Here it is, Coach. Thanks, Brent. Thanks, Brent. I appreciate it. Um, congratulations, and man, what a what a great season and a great game, coached by a great man. I, I appreciate uh, JB Paxson more than he knows, and the job he did with these kids, and what he does for the community. I appreciate you so much, and congratulations, LSU, on a, on a wonderful game. Uh, before we give the uh, uh, trophies or awards to our team, um, I want to just recognize my three sons who's helped me 
the last five years coaching my grandson. Um, and it, it is a blessing to be a part of this community, number one. Unbelievable to be a part of the football community. But when you can do it with your kids and you can share your experience and your love with these other kids and you, everybody feels it, it, it is so special. So my oldest son, Antonio Roberts, my, my middle son, Eddie Brickley, my youngest son, Patrick Brickley, and Mike Mann helping us out this year. His first year doing it, so I appreciate it. I'm not nearly as organized as they are, so I'm just going to call numbers. When I call your number or name, make sure you go back to the same spot because I'll forget you. Let's go uh, Chase Man. Shake his hand. Shake him up. There you go. Lucas Bergeron. Shake him up. Jack Myers. Dominic Matson. Chan Zatong. Check it up, man. Parker Batchelder. Christopher Bryant. Spencer Mann. Reed Gang. Shake his hand over here, buddy. Owen Horasimovich. Check it out. Liam Toller. Jordan Kiesling. <laughs> Owen Weiss. <laughs> and Zachary Heastan. All right, congratulations on a great season. Like we always do, we're all Trojans. Let's get in here and break it down, guys. Trojan Pride on three. All right, Luke, you got him. Trojan Pride on three. One, two, three, Trojan Pride! It's been another outstanding season in the Senegro Band of Football League. Thank you to all the coaches and board members for their countless hours and dedication to the Center Grove Youth Football Program. Also, thank you to Center Grove High School Head Football Coach Eric Moore for his guidance and support. Today's game was produced by CG Sports Network. The Center Grove Grand Iron President is Aaron Holt. Special thanks to Aaron for all of his support. Executive Producer Austin Tyke, fantastic job, Austin, all day long. And to our camera operators, Grant Embry and Cameron Wiley, fantastic job guys long day appreciate your efforts center grove band of football league championship saturday was presented by howard companies always appreciate their support each and every year once again congratulations to ed brickley and the ucla bruins for winning the 2023 major championship for rick Embry, this is kevin conrad saying so long everyone from ray skillman stadium at center grove high school